So we just finished. But that was good. That was very good stuff. That was good. I did LA acting, so just cue me up again. I'm ready. <laughs> I, was a, I was a background actor. I was actually on the show Ballers with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Really? Oh, what? Yeah, I was on, uh, <laughs> yeah, I lived in LA when I first moved there. I was like on the, the show Ballers, uh, the different show. Dude, I had so much different like movie, different appearances. It was all background stuff. I never had any really speaking roles, but dude, I loved it. So just cue me up again. All right. Riley, Riley, we don't care about that. We want to know who you're signing with. Okay, okay all right. So uh, <laughs> It's cool that you were in Ballers. Let's hear, who you're, <laughs> let's hear what paddle you're using. <laughs> so, you know, I'm so pumped to be able to play with Pro, Pro XR. Uh, you know, it's been such a blast to be able to kind of talk to all the companies, but at the end of the day, I really wanted to go with a company that I could have like more of a lifetime partnership with where it's not just a one year, two year cash grab. Um, I really want to be in it for the long haul. And, uh, you know, ProXR, they've been kind of ahead of the game when it comes to just like the equipment. It's been really, really high level uh, paddles. The, the people at the top, the Sasolo family has been really incredible, super family oriented. And I really like that. And so ProXR, I'm pumped to be a part of it with Zane and uh, we'll be able to rock it uh, coming in 2024. So who's uh, who's going to be the face of Pro XR? I mean, you guys might have to just fight right here or something. Fight for the death. Or sure, just like, let's maybe do just it. a simple rock I paper mean, scissors. I mean, what look, are we going to do? I'm just saying he used a Zane Navratil paddle. Yeah, so that's I mean, it. Hey, you know, we did. You, can, you we did. can keep using it. You know, I'm sure. You know, I'm I'm certain that won't be for for all that long. Yeah, you're going to get <laughs> a signature paddle. A I signature imagine. paddle's coming. Yes, I'm actually right after this. Uh, I'm going to hit the practice courts trying out different paddles that potentially could be my signature paddle, trying out different models, the shapes, the core, everything. And that's the bit, the beauty of making a signature paddle. And I've had a couple now where you really get to be able to like do it from scratch. So I'm, I'm pumped about it. I really like it. And uh, I think it's going to be a game changer. Like it's pro XR has been able to do really, really incredible things with the paddle technology. And so I'm, I'm excited to be uh, with them going forward. Yeah. yeah. So you, you feel like you find the right paddle for you. You kind of help design it. It fits your game. Yep. You think you're going to get that five to 10% improvement. You, I think so. I mean, that's about? the goal. I mean, that's the goal is, is to be able to have just a little bit of an advantage over your opponents. And if that's with paddle or, you know, mentally or physically, whatever it is, I, I think paddles do make a big difference. So I'm, I'm really excited to be joining the Pro XR team and uh, be looking out for that Rally Newman signature paddle. You think you're more of like a 14 or 16 millimeter guy? Like you know, I think I'll be able to hopefully have it in both the 14 and the 16 for the signature uh, models because I do think for the 3540 players, I still think the the 16 millimeter is the best yep. for most of the pickleball population. It gets the most feel, bigger sweet spot, just more control. But for me personally, I do like the 14 or even the 13 millimeter. So I think I'll go with that route for just how, what I play with. Yeah. So can you talk about specifics of the deal in terms of like, are you, are you, is there like a royalty component once you have a signature paddle? Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely a royalty component. Um, you know, to be honest, I really didn't focus too much on the numbers. Of course it makes, it has to make sense financially, but I just think their paddles are amazing. Like yeah. I called Pro XR first mm -hmm. uh, when I realized TK was not making paddles. They were my very first company that I called. Why did you call them first? They were the best paddles, in my opinion. They so? made the best yeah. paddles. So, not it, no, you know, slide to any of the other paddle companies out there. But I just I went to Pro XR first, and I said, "Hey, you guys are my very first call. Let's do something." Did we have other conversations with other companies? Of course, mm -hmm. but I believed in Pro XR, and that's why we're here today. I'm, I'm here with a smile that I'm happy to be a part of the team. Nice. nice. Well, yeah. it really does, like, you know, I, I joined on with them over a year ago, right? And these contracts are, I've learned through my time in pickleball that the contracts are only as good as the people on the other side of them, right? Mm -hmm. You can put down whatever you want, but obviously in pickleball, things are moving so quickly, stuff changes all the time. And you have to have a partner on the other side of the desk that you can like actually trust when something comes up that's not in the contract and you need to deal with. Right. And so, yeah, I mean, Ron and Ron and Joe and the, the team over there are uh, are actual like partners. Mm -hmm. Right. And I, that was the first time I've felt like that with a with a paddle company. And I think, mm -hmm. you know, you and I had texted a little bit and I, you know, I vouched for them as well. And obviously I'm excited to, to have you on the uh, on the squad. But I think it's sweet when, you know, this comes the week after the announcement of their of their UPP. Did that like factor into your decision making at all? It, you know, it did. It did. Um, seeing that they have now acquired Paddle Tech, you know, and, and the, what's the other brand? Boundless. So it was so I a think merger. Boundless. It was a merger between Boundless, Paddle Tech, and Pro XR, but it's under the 
same management team as yeah. the the pro xr people but i think 35 capital is the majority owner of of that new entity mm -hmm. so then making that investment into the other paddle companies it was like a green flag for me because now it's like okay they're all in with pickleball sure. yeah. they're not going anywhere in a year or two or they're not trying to sell and again like i said i wanted to be with a company for kind of the rest of my career whether that's five years or, or four years i don't even know how long i'm going to be playing it's probably going to only be about that much but i want to be with that company for the rest of my career so I just had really good vibes from that deal you're speaking of. So I really liked that. Yeah, it was a big part of it as well. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Cool. And yeah, so I mean, they were there great with me working uh, to create a paddle. I got basically like exactly what I wanted, which is yeah. spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like what, what you know, you, you mentioned that you're going to be making a, a 14 or even a 13 and a 16. Like take us through what an ideal paddle looks like for, for Riley and like what we can sort of expect i guess yeah for me i think you know i'm kind of known as you know being really good at defense and also being able to put some spin on some of my dinks but i think that's the top two things that i want feel from the middle i want a, a ton of control because i think the best players in the world of pickleball they get to the kitchen line at a very high clip they get to the kitchen line every single time so that's important you got to have feel and control on a paddle to get to the kitchen line and then once you're there Yes, you want to have power to put the volleys away. That's going to be really important as well. But to have that spin is so helpful when it comes to dinks, your serve, that power, spin, control, those th three things I'm really kind of honing in on on my future paddle, and I'm just so pumped. I'm, I'm really excited uh, to be able to be working with ProXR in the future. Yeah, it's yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited. interesting how many pros are or have been under contract with, with brands who didn't have paddles that, you know, suited their needs yep. and they would just complain like crazy. I mean, and that's, and that's, you know, I was that, guilty. this is what I've learned. And that's what I've learned. <laughs> Same with you. I've been guilty too. Like I'm guilty. And you know, when you're first kind of starting out in, in pickleball, and I think there's a lot of pros to this day that they need financial support, right. whether that's registration, help travel, just maybe some monthly stipend that they're taking whatever money they can get from any sponsor. And I right. get that. Cause I, I was in the same boat. Like I didn't even try certain paddles before I signed on cause I just needed that financial help. But now mm -hmm. obviously, obviously being a little more secure in that department, I just wanted the best paddle. So that's why I chose ProXR. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's good that you have a paddle that you actually trust. That was like love. your first choice. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So All can right. you, uh, just out of my own curiosity, like, do you, do you know much about the Takea stuff? Like, you know, they, they're not pursuing pickleball paddles anymore. They're still, making the the water bottles i would presume otherwise it wouldn't be on the table but uh, but yeah so what uh, <laughs> what uh what sort of what happened there do you know yeah so there's three owners that basically own takea and two of those owners were in japan and one of those owners was in california the yeah. owner in california his name's ken tran yeah, yeah he's I like know, a brother i know ken I mean, he's he a is, cool dude he's a cool dude stand-up guy I actually, so it's funny how the whole partnership got started. I was teaching a camp with my sister, Lindsay, in Newport Beach. This is 2019. And we're going over to the parking lot. It's after lunch. And we're going to, you know, go to a restaurant, get something real quick. And this guy, Ken, didn't really know him that well before. He's like, hey, where are you guys going for lunch? And I was like, oh, we're probably just going to McDonald's or Taco Bell because at that point we're just still broke. And um, he's like, hey, let me take you out. And so he took us out to lunch. I actually had a Takea bottle sitting on the table, not knowing who he was. My, my other sister got it for me for Christmas, and he asked me, he's like, hey, do you like that Takea bottle? And I'm like, yeah, I love it. He's like, that's my company. I was like, oh, no way. <laughs> and so uh, then we just start <laughs> talking. God, I, like, I did trash ever, it. <laughs> have you ever, I know, right? Have you ever, I said, like, have you ever considered sponsoring pickleball players? And he's like, no, but that's a great idea. So then we just started with the water bottle partnership. I was wow, able to get a, okay. a Newman pickleball uh, bottle. Uh, actually, Kendall Jenner reps the 64 ounce bottle. So if you're not impressed with, you know, me repping the bottle, which I get, I understand. <laughs> then Kendall Jenner actually rocks it. She, you see her in tabloids rocking the Newman Pickleball bottle. She buys it on the Takei website. That's a true story. The Newman one? She buys the Newman Pickleball bottle. No I'm just waiting for my phone That's to wild. ring from Kendall That's Jenner. Sick. I mean, I am single. So Kendall, if you're watching, let's go. <laughs> the water bottle uh, guy. She's my celebrity crush. Let's, let's, uh, let's not get that mistake. Right, she probably watches the pod, so she'll I mean, this. she has a pickleball court, I'm pretty sure, in one of her houses, so yeah. I'm just waiting for there the 20K a lesson per hour um, rates. But anyways, but then so we, he asked if I wanted to do paddles, and uh, I see you guys smirking over there. <laughs> <laughs> I heard so, Ben's at 25, but anyway, Okay, go okay, well, that might be 26. Um, so then he's, then Ken's like, hey, we want to start making paddles and get more into the pickleball space. And at that point, I didn't really look to any other paddle companies. I said, sure, let's do it. And the paddles were good, but not great. They weren't the, they weren't the best. And because it, it does take a while to get these paddles to be dialed in and just the right amount of power spin and control. But then 
the two owners, I'm making this long, this, this story really long, but the two, the two owners from Japan, they actually ended up buying out Ken from Takea. So now Ken is no longer with the company. And the, the two owners from Japan, they're like, hey, we're not really going to be going down this pickleball route anymore. Yeah. We're just going to stick to bottles. So now we're just doing water bottles in the future. But I am still going to be partnered up with Takea for the future, yeah. just the water bottle side. Yeah. Interesting. I, I, so you're, you're the reason Takea is in pickleball. It's like Takea and Jigsaw. When I first yeah. got into the sport, it was like they just sponsored everybody. Yeah. It was like you always saw Jigsaw and Takea. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. And so yeah. Takea is still, I mean, it's a hydration. It, these water bottles are so good in that uh, I see a lot of still pros. I'm, I'm sure probably Zane still is, is one of them too. A lot of the pros wear these or use these plastic bottles when they're hydrating on the court and their water has got to be warm. So <laughs> if it's Zane, if you need a bottle, let me know because he just keeps your drinks cold and stainless steel. They might not like the Newman Pickleball logo on it, so maybe that's why they don't rep it. But I'm happy to give some pro players potentially a water bottle if they really need it. So let me know. I like all the the plastic chemicals in yeah, the warm water. Thank you so, <laughs> sorry to care about Zane. Sorry about that. Some people can't be flipped. Can't be flipped from a plastic. No, they used bottle. to give them out at the the PPA tournaments. I got I I got a couple of those early on. With they were giving them out as like trophies. Yeah. So yeah, they've yeah. been amazing. They'll stay in the pickleball space. So that that's great to hear. They they love it, um, but just not as much in paddles anymore. Yeah. Well, when one door closes, another one opens up. Yeah. That's so right, that's right. Anything else about the Pro XR? Uh, no, no, I just stay, stay, uh, stay in the know. Cause the signature paddle will be coming out. Um, so I'm excited for that. And maybe, you know, Zane will play with mine. Maybe I'll play with his. We don't know. You guys are gonna have to stay. That'd be fun. Stay, stay in tune for that. So Connor and I keep saying that we're going to do a paddle swap for one of uh, if we ever play each other in, in singles. I mean, all these NBA and NFL guys have Jersey swaps. Might as yeah. well just do like a paddle swap between there you and go. I. We could have just settle it right here. I like it. Too well, bad. Thanks. I would have given you an Orlando squeeze paddle. I would have not worn that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Touching that sucker. <laughs> hey, what's up, bro? Hey, you into pickleball at all? You into pickleball? No? All right. I've got a nice little side hustle going here. I basically just show up at pickleball courts and uh, I bring some products that they might need and I, I slang pickleball products. With pickleball being such a hot sport right now, there's a lot of different products coming out and it's hard to keep up with. So I just basically bring the products directly to the customer right here. Hey. Hey, bro. Hey, you're looking thirsty out there. You need one of these ice shakers? You know, to be honest with you, though, all I'm really doing is I just subscribe to the pickleball box and it comes straight to my door with all the hottest pickleball gear in here. And it's like $250 worth of stuff and I get it for 99 bucks. Hey, Donna, I got that new feel of zip up you were asking about right here. Yeah, that pickleball feel of zip up. Yeah. Yo, these pickleball junkies, man. Once you give them a taste of that new product that they got coming out, they can't get enough of it. Hey, Tom, weren't you asking about some pickleball socks, man? I got some socks right here for you, brand new. Yo, did y'all need some sunblock? Was somebody asking about some sunblock? Hey, what's up, bro? You want to check out what all I got? Yeah, come check it out, man. Check it out. Wait, wait, wait. Cops, dude. Cops, cops. Be cool. Be cool. What's up, officer? Good day? Having a good day? Good. All right, check it out. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Dyler has gone on Yagi.